Hi. Today I want to show you a way of creating a NURB curve like this with a loft surface between two, two lines in Rhino in order to uh, create a random surface that you can manipulate and change during your design process. So basically what we're going for here is we're having several different points uh, twice and those are connected and those connected points will form a loft surface uh, in between those so to have a very nice um, curved surface that can be later be used for something else so in order to do that we would first create a number a list of points that um, can be used later on and can be changed as well so we will create a series of um, um, x amount of points in this time here 11 and those will be our x coordinates and as you see we will have very nice 11 points we can even have more obviously or less um, those points will as well now have a um, randomized uh, x uh, z factor that so the points go up in a random way in the z direction so we will have as well as series again same amount of um, the same amount of points so we'll take the same slider and um, but the value will be randomized itself with this we use the we use the jitter um, commands it is in um, set sequence and under here besides the random so zero commands it basically randomizes those numbers that we have into a different order so we use those we put those in the z coordinates and as we says it might be like a little bit too much in order for them to be connected so we will uh, reduce the steps that we uh, the step amount that we take also in order we bless so like this okay um, so now we have our first points and also then they need to be connected. So we take under um, the curve spline and we take the uh, NURBS curve. Also interpolate or um, a pole line will as well work, but now our, uh, we will take the um, NURBS curve. So here we have um, the curve. It will go through those points very smoothly. So we would disable those points. So we have our first line. In order to get our second line, what we can simply do is we take those um, take those things and we simply copy it. It still will be the, the same amount of point numbers, so this we don't need to care about. But what we do need to care about is because right now those points are on the same um, area, so we would need to put all those points a little bit more uh, up, uh, like on the different y uh, coordinates. So again, we take this one here, which is number slider, and now we have the points on a different um, uh, Y level. So if we again take the NURBS curves and connect them, you will have a line as well. But this time, as we see, they're exactly on the same um, curve, so they would be just like a lofted surface, uh, just like a um, extruded surface. And um, in order to change that, we um, we will just take in the jitter commands. There are um, there is a seed which uh, basically is the ran randomizing factor. So we will just change that in order to get different results. Um, yeah, we take this one here, one here, and one as well in our old curve, which was I think on two at the beginning. Yeah, and um, as well to make it a little bit less. Um, uh, Randomize. we can as well take a slider to um, between 0 and 1 who greatly basically shows uh, makes the jitter a little less strong so as we see here it goes like from very jitterish to like less jitterish okay so we have it at the maximum we disable um, the preview of those things and now we would take the command ruled surface loft as well would work but uh, ruled surface is, is like more defined. Okay, and now we have a uh, very clear surface. And the good thing is, if you want to have a, a different surface kind, you can just change it a little bit. 
and maybe to have a more more stronger yeah so this is a great way to uh, quickly to qu quickly come up with um, a random surface that you need for something I mean you can go from facades to um, to to um, models of studies of surfaces of topo topography and as well every time you do one you can bake it then you take um, make another random surface with different with a different seat and with that you can bake it again and compare and maybe with those you can have a better results in your design study so thanks and goodbye